Hello and welcome to this quick tour of SQL Workshop. SQL Workshop allows you to create, view and maintain your database objects. All you need is your web browser. Simply sign into your workspace and you see SQL Workshop on the workspace homepage. In my workspace, I see 136 tables. So let's go and view them through SQL Workshop. The first major component within SQL Workshop is Object Browser. Object Browser allows you to browse, create and edit database objects. Let us click a table EBA Projects. You see column names, data types, whether nullable or not, primary keys and so on. You can add a column, you can modify a column, rename a column, drop column and you also see Create App button here. Clicking Create App button, you will be able to create an application on top of this table. Now let's click through data. You can see data in the table. You can edit, insert rows and load data. And you can look at indexes, constraints, triggers and you have sample queries tab here. Clicking the sample queries tab, you'll be able to see the sample queries provided by Apex. In the object browser, you can also browse through other database objects such as views, indexes, packages, procedures and so on. Let us click packages. And let's click a package EBA curse for example. You see the package specification and you see the number of functions defined here and also a procedure defined. Let's click body. You can update any SQL in here, save and compile it back into the database. Using the create wizard here, you can create database objects such as tables, views, sequences, packages and so on. For example, let's click table. You can specify the table name, column names, select any data types and also specify other required attributes and continue through the wizard. Now let's navigate to the other major component of SQL Workshop, SQL Commands. Here you enter SQL commands that can be used to create, edit, view, run and delete database objects. SQL commands allows you to run any valid SQL statements. For example, something as simple as select asterisk from EBA cursed customers. And if you run that, you see results coming up there. Let's navigate to the other major component of SQL Workshop, SQL Scripts. SQL Scripts is used to upload scripts which run multiple DDL or DML statements to operate on the database objects. For example, you might want to create several new tables or insert multiple rows into tables, etc. You can either upload a script or create a script from scratch. When you edit a SQL script, you are presented with a full page code editor with text highlighting. Quick SQL is covered off in another video. Next major section is Utilities. Utilities include Data Workshop. Within Data Workshop, you use Load Data Wizard to load from various file formats such as XLSX, CSV, XML and JSON and you use Unload Data Wizard to export your data in text or XML format. In Utilities, you have Quick SQL, which is also available in SQL scripts that you use to generate SQL using shorthand syntax. Then you have Generate DDL, which you use to generate scripts for all database or objects within a schema. You also have Schema Comparison, Recycle Bin, and you can also review database details using About Database. You have Query Builder here, which is a graphical way to select multiple tables and specific columns out of these tables and build up joins between these tables rather having to write SQL statements to do that. You have Sample Datasets, then you have User Interface Defaults, which is very useful for ensuring consistency in naming convention across your different applications. You also have Methods, Object Reports, and Database Monitor. The last major section is RESTful Services. This is an advanced topic that we're not going to cover in this quick tour. Basically here you define RESTful Web Service Endpoints or URIs which allow other applications to extract data from the underlying database objects. Thank you for watching this video.